Hey, I'm Lauren from Giorgio Draws and today I'm going to be talking about my favourite watercolour sketchbooks and papers and why I use them. Today I wanted to talk about possibly one of the most asked questions that I've ever had on Instagram, which is what sketchbooks are you using? The answer is that I've always used the same brand from day dot, um, from the first ever Instagram post that I did. I was using one of these a pink pig sketchbook and I wanted something that was going to be easy to carry around with me. I wanted watercolour paper that was good quality and good texture but something that I could also travel with. So I wanted a sketchbook and I wasn't impressed with a lot of the sketchbook paper that is out there. It can be quite flimsy, it can bleed through. Uh, so I went on the lookout, had a hunt and I found pink pig. So this is my all time favorite sketchbook. This is their A5 Amelie watercolor paper. So it comes in two styles, uh, textures. So this is the matte and they also have, this is the textured version. So these are 270 GSM. So they're really, really thick. They're really good quality. And you can see here that there's no bleed. Onto the next page, so I can layer up, I can build, I can get really heavy with the water, and they are absolutely fine. Now, Pink Pig are a British company, and they make and manufacture all of their sketchbooks here in the UK. So I was really impressed with that, because being UK myself, I thought, oh, that's useful, and it's nice to support someone who's here. And um, I've been their ambassador for a couple of years now, after I'd been using their sketchbooks for a few months, they actually reached out to me and asked if I'd like to come on board, which obviously I did. And we're still here two years later because I literally haven't found a better provider. I just think that their ethos for quality and dedication to what the artist actually needs is perfect and I couldn't fault them. Okay, so this is my favourite. This is the A5 Amelie, which we've just seen and discussed. They do this texture and watercolour paper in so many different sizes and so many different shapes. So starting at the bottom, this is the teeny, teeny, tiny, what size is she? Four by four inch. And I use this size just to kind of do little experiments, just test things, just to check that pens are working, check that um, colour schemes are going to go. So uh, this is really handy. I love keeping this near to me when I'm working. Then we also have a larger square. This is the 8x8 eight eight, and this one is perfect for wreaths. I do a lot of wreath work and I just find like having a square is really easy on the eye when you're working with wreaths. So awesome. Um, so, sizes are done. So we also have a couple of others in the range that I use. Um, I don't use all of their sketchbooks because I found my favorite and I stick to it. But there is another type of paper that they do called Buckingford. This is slightly thicker. This is 300 GSM and you can see it's really, really textured. So, if you liked the 270 GSM Amelie texture, but you wanted something even heavier, even better quality, that would be the one for you. They also do a sketchbook size called a Pigscape. And I think this is unique to them. And this is only available in more of a, a, a paper than a card, but this is also one of my most favorite sketchbooks for testing out layouts. So when I'm doing client work, I quite often have to plan out different options of how we're going to do things, different logo designs. And I find this long layout just, uh, it works so well because I can show the client all of the options in one. I'm not wasting really expensive paper. I can get more out of this sketchbook because there's more paper there. So I use that one a lot. That was another good go-to. Last but not least, um, I have to say that they come in a million amazing colours. So this is just a tiny, tiny variety of what you can get. You can even personalise them, have your own covers, I believe. Uh, but I tend to stick to darker colours or black because I'm boring. 
but you can go on, choose any you want. There are millions of colors, loads of sizes. And I'm gonna stick a discount code in the box below as well, so you can get some money off while you're browsing. Okay, so hopefully that's answered some of your questions regarding my sketchbook preferences. If I have missed anything, if you've got any questions, drop me a message below and I will try and answer all of them as best as I can. And I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy painting.